What's up agents and welcome back to another division news video huge news coming out today on the socials and behind the scenes with other players Good news and bad news. I'm afraid good news. You might be able to play test future content with the division 2 We'll talk about that and also People are now reporting that after today's you play update that did go horribly wrong Do check out my previous video for that but it does seem that People are now logging in to them temporary bands and permanent bands that they were talking about just last week. Before we get into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Even better, come on over to Twitch and hit follow. I could be streaming live right now and if you need any help with the Division at all, raids, eagle burrows, regulus, ravenous, all them kind of things, you'll find the link to my community discord down below in the description. And with all that said, let's get started. So let's start with the good news. We'll flip over here to the Division Twitter. And if you don't use Twitter, I'll put all the links down below in the description so that you can also apply. So it says here, calling all agents to join an upcoming Division 2 playtest. One day remote playtest between Tuesday the 18th of April and Friday the April the 21st. And then it mentions all of the times though. You can see 10 a.m. till 5.30 CEST. 4 a.m. till 11.30 EDT and 1 a.m. till 8.30 PDT. So only, you know, European friendly times there. Everything else is a bit wonky, but I'm sure if you love the game and you want to get a chance to play test it, give it some good feedback, actually maybe get your own touch on this play test. Whatever the content is, it doesn't mention what the content is. I do find this a little bit strange. I don't know about what you guys think. Descent is meant to be pretty soon in the next major update. In a, you know, a few weeks we would be expecting it just after this season ends. So maybe it's not that. Maybe it's new content apart from that. What do you guys think? Let's let the speculation run wild down in the comments of what this could be a playtest for. Maybe it is just Descent and they want to do that. And they're not going to do a PTS. Maybe that's an option. I find that unlikely. Uh, but let's see what all you guys think in the comments down below. It does mention there, just a quick one, that you will get contacted by phone and it'll be from a plus 46 number, which is a Swedish number or an email. So just keep an eye out just so you don't miss that all important call. And with that said, let's quickly move on to the other news point today. Nothing's been officially reported on any channels because why would they? But it does seem that now I'm hearing of people being banned. People getting a temporary 14 day ban and some people may be getting a permanent ban. They did put a notice out last week saying that if it was a second offence you would get a permanent ban. And it seems that it wasn't just limited to just the current EXP farms. We know people who have not used the fair low EXP farm or any of them other farms. But have actually been back into floor 10 and have been banned today with a temporary 14 day ban so it does seem that any kind of npc abuse or any kind of ways you can twist the systems to gain an advantage are going to get you flagged now it's not just the recent exp farms so do be careful agents i would hate for you to lose your accounts over something like this so always err on the side of caution that's going to be it for the video. I really wanted to put this out because not everybody uses Twitter. And I thought, you know, a bit of a PSA on the bans. Let's, uh, it's a little bit frightening. You know, we don't want people losing their accounts for no reason. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Come on over to Twitch and hit follow because I could be live. And I'll see you all in the next one. Good luck out there, agents.